Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in this video, let's work with migrations. Now we have the front end for the post, the create a post. And also we have created the model when we create the controller. Uh, in real world, when we create a Laravel project, we create first the model and then the prompt is going to ask us if we want also the migration and so on. But I'm going to show you both ways. So because we have now the model, I'm going to open the terminal and let's say for now PHP artisan list. Okay, so here we have the list of commands. Let's go to make and we have make migration. Here, create a new migration file and let's use that. Let's clean this and let's say uh, PHP artisan and as you can see this uh, php artisan we are going to write many times now i have installed uh, omai zush in my machine and what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create some bash aliases for that and what we can do is uh, you, we can modify the zhrc so we can say theme not bash rc but SSR C like this and we can add here the aliases if you like but also which is a good idea in my opinion is so let's just close this to navigate in the oh my zush slash custom and here I'm going to create a new file so let's say touch a new file And I'm going to name it uh, main dot shell. Okay, hit enter, and now let's vim that main z shell. And here I'm going to add alias. So alias. First we need to hit I, and then say alias. For example, art for PHP artisan. And here I'm going to say PHP artisan. Okay. For example, alias for npm run dev, I'm going to say nrt and say now npm run dev. Also, npm an alias for npm run build, npm run build like this and say npm run build. You got the idea. Escape this, save and quit. And if I close this and open again the warp terminal, let's see the, the herd and the Laravel tutorial. Now, if I say npm run dev like this, hit enter, it's going to run. So let's clean this and now let's say artisan, which is PHP artisan, make colon migration. Okay, and now we need to say create underscore the name of the table. In this case, it's going to be post underscore table. Okay, hit enter. And now the migration inside the database migrations is created successfully. And here it is right here. We have uh, two methods in this class. So up and down the up is to create a table down is to delete the table and here we have this schema which is come from facade okay is calling this create static method which as a first argument is the name of the table and the second is a callback in this callback we put as an argument this blueprint which is coming from database schema blueprint and this is the uh, blueprint for our uh, post database table here we have by default the id and timestamp but what we can what we want so in this case uh, what i want is to have also the title and the description or the content so let's say dollar sign table and i'm going to use string so chain the string method and pass in here the argument title the name of the column also 
for the body or for the content I'm going to use text and let's say the name is going to be content okay now if I save that let's close and let's open the terminal again we created the migration with this artisan command so artisan make golden migration and now if I open the table plus right now we don't have that table post okay because we created in our project but we need to run that so to run we can just use artisan command so php artisan migrate okay and now it's creating this post if i open the table plus and I refresh now we have the post table here with the structure of id title content created out and updated out okay now if i use tinker here so artisan tinker to create a new post we created separately the post model and post migration but because the model has named post and also the migration has the same name with plural laravel is smart enough to connect this model with that migration so let's come here and let's say post model colon colon create and we need to specify the title and the content so let's say title to be uh, for example first post and migration and content sorry to be okay let's say just first content and hit enter okay so we have this error so mass assignment exception which saying add title to fillable property to allow mass assignment on this app models post okay so let's do that let's come here and let's say protected dot assign fillable and here we have I have added the title and the content because this we are going to provide in here so for that we need to add protected fillable here first let's save the post and now let's let's exit first okay and let's run again tinker and then post create and hit enter now we have the first post as you can see return so title is first post content is first content and so on also if i open here refresh go to data we have the first one here as you can see okay so let's go and add it we have a artisan command for example to say migrate colon status to see the status for the migration and yeah we have users cache job and post has run okay now let's see another command so if i say artisan migrate colon rollback this command rolls back the last batch of migrations which may include multiple uh, migration files but because right now we have run only for the post if i say migrate a rollback hit enter rolling back migrations only the post table refresh and as you can see now we don't have the migration because we rolled back only for that okay let's uh let's go and delete this migration and also i'm going to delete the model okay and let's create together now the model and the migration so i'm going to say artisan make colon model hit enter and here we have a prompt what should the model be named in our case it's going to be post hit enter and then we have a, a prompt would you like any of the following and let's navigate to migration hit tab and hit enter okay so now the model inside the app models post created and also the migration inside database migrations created successfully if i open the model here it is we have the same thing and let's just add the protected fillable uh, title content let's remove this user id 
save, close, and let's go now to migration. We have the same thing, just add here the title and the content. Let's save. And as you may know, we need to run the migration. So artisan, migrate. And now if I open again for the last time, we have here post, which is empty, but we can create that using a tinker right now. So artisan tinker and use the previous command to create the first post. If I come here and refresh, now we have the first post here. Okay, friends, so that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. And if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.